Let him ride off on his high horse. Let's ride. One more match. We are live for one more match here at the Bayville Oaks South Jersey. Hold on to your seats as this is your Titan Championship Wrestling Warfare. And Pat Savino holds the title up. That's what it's all for. This is what it's all about. 315 days ago, November the 14th, 2020, TCW Mount Olympus is where this all began. We'll tell the story. Let's let the bell ring first. The bell is sounded. 
As David Adams has promised, he'll tell you the entire story. The Mount Olympus Rumble 2020, TCW's inaugural season. We have the Mount Olympus Rumble. The winner will be crowned the first ever TCW Heavyweight Champion. Well, let me tell you, Johnny Moran had an early draw. It was less than 10, I can tell you that much, Daddy. And when the dust settled, it came down to two men. Just like this, it came down to Johnny Moran, and it came down to Steve Monster Mac. As their jaw jack in here, Steve Monster Mac took a shortcut. He uppercutted him in the nether regions, and he promptly threw him to the concrete parking lot of Jackson, New Jersey, and he won the title. He said he would do it again if he in a heartbeat. And ever since, it's been Johnny Moran chasing not just that title, but that opportunity at that title. And Steve Mostamak, he's been ducking him at every point possible. Many people can say he's not ducking him, that Johnny Moran didn't deserve the shot. He doesn't deserve the shot. What has he done to, to, to earn it? Can you even tell me, David Adams? Well, Johnny Moran picked up a big pinball victory at our last show. It was a tag team match. He pinned the now former middleweight champion, Nikos Rikos, in a tag team match where it was Steve Mac and Nikos versus Rick Rikos and Johnny Moran. And down goes Mac. Yeah, Mac tries to escape, but Moran says get over here. And Pat Savino says one. Keyword, he pinned Nikos Rikos. He didn't pin Monster Mac. This is true. He can't pin Monster Mac. But that show also ended. That was a funhouse wrestling spectacular. Sent John Moran to win the title, but no. That show also ended with Johnny Moran getting an impromptu opportunity at the Funhouse Wrestling Heavyweight title, and he survived and won a six-way match. It came down to Super Tiger Moose, and it came down to Johnny Moran. And Johnny Moran defeated Super Tiger Moose to win that title, and he says, this title right here means that I belong in this ring with Steve Mostamak. I am a real wrestler. I'm not just playing wrestler like Steve Mostamak has told him on many times in the past. You, you, you know, just because you win a minor league World Series doesn't mean you win a World Series in the majors. That fun house title may be all good and well, but it doesn't equate to the Titan Championship. And you gotta admit, David Adams, none of those other five men that he beat for that Funhouse title are the caliber of a monster back. Well, that, you, know, you know, that could be argued that, that you're right. Everybody on that show has great skill and ability. But yeah, Steve Monster Mac, a 23, 24-year veteran, you know, used to be part of the hit squad with Danny Moff, part of Ring of Honor. This dude, he's, he's fought some of the biggest, some of the baddest, whether it was tag team or singles. And he is, as of right now, the only TCW heavyweight champion we've ever known. The with a reign of 315 days and potentially counting. The first and the only, and after this match, he'll still be the TCW world heavyweight champion. I've got a thousand riding on the FanDuel Sportsbook on my I, I bet you do. He wanted this. He, he did want this. He wanted an opportunity with you, face to face, mano y mano, one on one. And now a nerve grip, focusing on that carotid artery. And what insult to injury would it be if Steve Monsonac could win by way of referee stopping? After all the build up, Johnny Moran goes night night. He's already lost one match several months ago in Jackson due to referee stoppage. Well, if the referee was doing his job and looking out for the safety of the competitors, then this match should have been over already because Moran. Johnny, Johnny Moran's going to get hurt and hurt bad. Well, Mostamak just slamming him down on the back of that head as the Funhouse Wrestling Heavyweight Champion trying to find his way. They may have to vacate the Funhouse Championship after this match. That could be possible. Both men have interrupted each other's post-match promos in the past. Why wasn't this match title for title? Because this isn't about Funhouse. This is about the TCW Heavyweight title. This is about unfinished business. Johnny Moran believes that if Steve Mastermack didn't resort to a low blow uppercut in the Mount Olympus Rumble, that he could very well be the TCW Heavyweight Champion. There's no disqualification oh, right. in Rumble. Absolutely. We've gone over that. Nothing he did was illegal. It was frowned upon, but not illegal. And you got to do what you got to do because it's pro wrestling. And right now, precarious spot. Johnny Moran's got the champion in trouble. Monster Max going down hard. Super, super, superplex from high above. And it literally looked that time like he pulled Steve Monster Mac out of the heavens. Man, oh man. Something's gotta give. 
Alphonse Stevens, David Adams here calling this unbelievable main event. Warfare, TCW style, folks. And Johnny Moran looks like he's ready to win that title at long last. He ducks the punch. He blocks it. And now a couple punches of his own. Monster Mac rattle, but he don't fall down. It's going to take more than that to put Monster Mac down. Darn right. That big high knee is going to do it. The title's going to change. By two. It's going to take more than that to make the title change. Man, oh man. From Jackson to Tom's River to Bayville and everywhere in between. And a big vintage Johnny Moran high knee. And boop, boop, boop. Flatline, flatline. The lights go out in Bayville. Nope. The lights are not out all the way for the champion as Steve Monster Mac still, still, still in this heavyweight championship warfare main event. Monster Mac's going to recover. Now he, he is a quick recoverer, he is a gladiator, he is a titan, he survived the wars. And Pat Savino being used as a pawn, getting caught in the middle. No, that was Steve Monsonac pulling the belt. He did it again. Oh, and he got a high knee to the face. Good for, good for Pat Savino. You were worried about Alfred Jr. Hey, are you worried now, Pat? Yeah, it's Steve Monsonac is going to get you. And now we have no referee. And Johnny Q, the other referee, was already injured. So this one is going to go until Pat can get back up. Nice break. DDT on the title. Wow. Cover him. One, two, three. Come on. We got no stinking rap. And I guarantee you, Johnny Moran is going to be like, oh, but I had him be. Well, he did have him be, Alphonse. Uh, we're all watching it. But Pat Savino is severely injured right here. And Johnny Q already got decimated in the last match. So this is the only referee we have. Ow! And that's the way he won the Rumble. Uppercut to the nether regions. And he threw him over the top rope last November. He hit him in the stomach. Hit him in the stomach? Yeah, he didn't hit him in the stomach. Ah, get out of here. And he uses the title. This is bull crap. No, not like this. Ah! Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. The Dark Horse never bet against him. Johnny Moran still in this fight. I was, uh, if Johnny, Johnny Moran has no chance here. Now how he goes for that knee one too many times. He went to the well one too many times. Oh my God. And a power bomb. He's got him wrapped up right here. That's gonna be it. No! Pat Savino with this slow count. I don't understand it. Screw being unbiased, Johnny kicked out. Johnny Moran is the dark horse. He's got the heart, he's got the desire to represent this company, Titan Championship Wrestling. I know he can do it. Get used to calling him Johnny Two Belts. It's gonna happen here tonight. Oh, he ducks the line from the champion. Johnny Moran is still in this fight. Oh no. Wow. Ooh, dropped him right on his head. Yeah, he did, that might be it. Good I for him. Whoa. Why does he keep kicking out? He's delaying the He inevitable. keeps kicking out because Johnny Moran does not know how to die. Johnny Moran doesn't know how to stay down. Johnny Moran has the heart of a titan. He wants to be the, the it guy in this locker room. Have we not seen this over the past year? This is the guy. And Johnny Moran, he, he, he can do it. But not like that. Off with his head. That's a stiff Monster Mac Lariat. That might be it. What? I got a question, Johnny Moran's intelligence here. He's already the Funhouse champion. Is one belt not enough? Well, the Funhouse title was just something on the impromptu. It's a great title, very prestigious, but this is that TCW heavyweight title. He craves it. He, it's like a drug. He's addicted to it. He needs to win it. He needs, he needs that title to breathe. He needs that title like we need blood. And a ripcord lariat from the champion. That could be it right here. But Johnny Moran keeps kicking out. I mean, if he needed that title like he needs blood to live, he should have been dead already. Johnny Moran, for all intents and purposes, should have been dead in this match. Figuratively speaking, he should have been done uh, a couple lariats ago. 
But here you go. Johnny Moran still kicking out. Just like Rick Recon stayed in the fight earlier against Nikos Ricos in that epic two out of three falls. Rick Recon's driving back to Pescadero, California, the brand new middleweight champion. Can Johnny Moran follow in his footsteps? Hot off their tag team win last month here in Bayville. Don't bring up that flu. Wait a minute. Come on, Johnny. You can do it. Monster Max down! Monster Max down! But did you see? But the, it took just as much out of uh, Johnny Moran as it did. Not only that, the veteran movie ro Mac rolled out of the ring. Can win the match on the out. Well, he can win the match, but if he wins by count out, the champion retains. What a warfare main event! More after this commercial break. Saturday night, November the sixth, from the Passaic Valley Elks Lodge, Tonawa, in New Jersey. Goddesses of War, and Saturday, November the 20th, from the Adrenaline Sports Academy, Tom's River, it's Mount Olympus, and we're back, what a main event, Alphonse, oh my god. Wait a minute, and, and Monster Mac didn't make the bell. David Adams with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the official decision, uh, your winner by count out, the dark horse, Johnny Moran. Johnny Moran finally won the big one, but I gotta tell the fans a little something. However, the title can only change hands by way of pinfall or submission. Therefore, still, the Titan Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Steve Monster Mac. So Steve Monster Mac retains. So, your boy Johnny Moran finally won the big one. He just doesn't get a title change. Wait, Steve Mac asking for a, a microphone. told you, kid, in what world could you ever beat me for this time? You shut your mouth! That's right, you tell him, Mac. You kiss your mother with that mouth ugly? You don't deserve another shot at this because you couldn't pin me like I've been telling you. You are not on my level, kid. Nope. Now go to the back of the line. He, a win's a win. I don't think he. I don't think Johnny Moran goes to the back of the line. I think he does because he didn't get the job done. He won, but he didn't win the right way. Hey, Johnny Moran. Three hundred and fifteen days, and the only thing I learned about you is you're a bitch. <laughs> oh, he, he can't talk to him like that. There's kids in this audience. The more you know. This is a family program. I promise each and every one of you here tonight, before the end of this year, that title that he has, that championship, will be mine. No, sir. But it's not tonight. Definitely not tonight. A missed opportunity is what it is. Oh no! These people here in Bayville are out of control. Just kids in the audience. Well, folks, warfare ends. Johnny Moran wins the fight, but Steve Monster Mac still walks out the champion.